Hey there, I'm a graduate from Hogsworth, and today I'll be showing you the basics of leveling up. Leveling is Potterworld's main progression system and determines the number of spell points you have to spend in your spell tree, the quality of gear you can wear, what quests you have unlocked, and much more. Leveling is also how you progress through the years of Hogsworth, which each level being 10 levels from level 1, with the final level being level 80. In order to level up, you're going to need some experience. To see the required experience needed to level up, do slash me in chat and then hover over your player head. Now you're probably asking yourself, how do you gain said experience? Let me show you some methods. First and foremost, attending daily classes. You can view the times of our scheduled classes by doing slash NC. Sometimes surprise classes get hosted as well, so keep your eyes open for those. In order to join a class, a queue will show up in chat, and from there you'll need to click on the click here to join the queue. You'll be teleported to the class if you're able to join the queue. Receiving a passing grade in classes will result in earning academic credits, or more simply known as AC. AC can be traded in with the credit trader and Hogsworth's trophy room for experience. Secondly, you can vote for the network. Back in the trophy room, there's another NPC specifically for spending voting tokens. One option includes exchanging voting tokens into ACs. In order to get the tokens you need, type slash vote and follow the links provided to earn some voting tokens. You can only vote once a day and be sure to be in game to receive your tokens. Next up, daily activities. Daily activities are almost like quests that restart daily and they can be accessed via the book icon in your slash me menu. Right off the bat, you'll notice that you can already claim some free experience at the top, as well as some academic credits if you voted earlier. First off, the mini games tab. You can play a lot of mini games with other people by typing slash games. Some mini games you could play include Spell Wars, Quabble Ball, and Hide and Seek. The second tab in your daily activities known as miscellaneous includes lots of miscellaneous tasks you can do. This includes searching for hidden chests around the map, as well as attending classes and earning house points via completing the other daily activities. Next, fighting creatures throughout the world. Fighting creatures around your level will give you lots of experience. Generally, the rule of thumb for maximizing experience is fighting mobs that are 1 to 3 levels higher than you. A level 70 player wouldn't really gain much from fighting a level 1 Wiggle Worm, however, they would definitely gain a lot by fighting level 72 Vexlings. You can find out where creatures are located and what their levels are by typing slash map and clicking on the link provided. Next up, quests. Quests can be accessed and done via your quest journal. Hover over the quest you want to do and follow its instructions to get started. Despite there being a level cap for them as mentioned earlier, the ones you currently have access to are a great source of experience. There's also a daily reset version of quests known as daily riddles. You can find Tommy Riddle outside of the Great Hall and he'll give you a riddle that's worth experience. Next, we have arena tokens. Now, arena tokens can be earned by participating in, or winning, arena challenges such as dueling or flying. By talking to the arena token NPC in the dueling halls, you can exchange arena tokens for experience. You can also view upcoming challenges by doing slash NC and clicking on the calendar link in chat. Last, but certainly not least, professions. On the world map, you might have noticed that there are these icons that represent crafting stations. At these crafting stations, you'll see that you can craft food and potions. In order to make these, you'll need to get materials from fighting creatures and foraging for plants. Once you have the materials you need, you can craft these at the station. You have to interact with the station, following its instructions in order to successfully create the selected item. Once you make the item, you'll get some experience with it. Anyways, that's just about everything you'll need to know about leveling up on Potterworld. I hope you enjoy your journey to graduating Hogsworth. Take care.